Jamie's amongst the growing ranks of unemployed. He's been trying to find a job in social housing since May, but competition's fierce. There's about five or six agencies now working for each job, so you just find that, you know, it looks like there's about 30 or 40 people getting shortlisted. I've had to look at salaries that are slightly less, uh, you know, maybe going to have to go back to college and maybe do something part-time. Unemployment's now at 8%, the highest for 15 years. But no matter how hard Jamie tries, the odds are stacked against him. Job centres like this one helped fill 180,000 new vacancies in the last 12 months, but only 8% of those went to British workers, with foreign nationals more successful in the job market nine times out of ten. Reversing that trend was a key election pledge of the new government, promising to slash immigration. But a year on, it's only increased. Net migration was nearly a quarter of a million last year, up 20% on 2009, and Britain's second biggest annual total ever. Way off the government's five-figure target. I think they were probably over-promising. Given the restrictions that they face, it didn't make sense to, to promise to bring the number down to an arbitrary level. Really, they should have been having a more honest debate with the public about the limits on what they could do. The government claims its target can be met by capping non-EU immigration, but that ignores how most are coming from within the EU, where restrictions don't apply. Entry numbers for Eastern Europeans rose by eight times in the last year alone, as they continue to cash in on the open borders. It's unlikely that the, ta the measures they've, they've announced will meet that target. It might come close. But it, it, you know, it's unlikely to meet it. So we think that further measures are necessary. For others, the problem lies at home. Priti Patel's an MP and from an immigrant family herself. She knows what it takes to succeed here, but says most don't. I'd go back to 30, 40 years ago when you've seen immigrants come to this country. What they want to do is they want to work hard and get on in life. They really do. They've got families to think about, etc., etc. You know, in days gone past, we used to have a tremendous British work ethic in this country. We really did. I think we've effectively lost some of that. It was easy to see that at the job centre, where most I met were migrant workers. The problem is, is that a lot of British people at the moment are a bit lazy and they've got used to you know, not doing the minimum paid jobs and the low paid work, so they need to be forced into taking these jobs. The government claims it's now doing just that. It says we are reforming the welfare system to ensure that we end the benefit dependency which has trapped so many people and finally ensure work pays. But whilst the long-term unemployed can be forced to look for jobs, there's no guarantee they'll get them. Coming back to that immigration promise, the government simply can't keep. Ivor Bennett, RT, London.